Hi, it's uh, Paul from Geodome here and today we're going to do a project that isn't to do with domes. Um, I'm going to be building uh, a whole new garden with a greenhouse and everything. But first I have to sort out a few um, uh, services. Uh, obviously your greenhouse needs water, it needs um, all the facilities to grow plants. So what I'm doing first is I'm going to put in um, a water system. Now I've, had a, I've got a water system in actually um, and it's been running off an electric pump for the last four years or so but I'm always replacing the pumps. Now uh, um, what I thought I'd try would be um, a ramp pump. Uh, there's loads of information on YouTube about ramp pumps and I thought I'd give, a, give it a go because it doesn't need any electric um, and uh, the problems I'm having with the uh, electric pumps getting on my nerves. So I'm going to try a ramp pump. Water comes down uh, a slant into the pump. There's a check valve here and a check valve there. Of the, uh, the the flow on this check valve is that way. So this is running against the check valve. The, the check valve falls open by gravity, but when the water gets reaches a certain speed, it'll slam that shut. And what happens is all the water that comes down here has nowhere to go. It, well he's down here and co causes a, a pressure wave. It then goes up here past this check valve, flow on this check valve that way. So it goes up into here and this check valve prevents it from returning. So you've got a lot of water coming down here, slam shut, you get a massive all the way to water comes down here and you get a, a, a big old pressure wave. Uh, the pressure wave builds into this area here and is stopped from coming back because of this check valve here. Water comes out here, and this this is a um, uh, like a bladder, a pressure vessel. Uh, it has some air in it because water doesn't compress, but air will. So the the air in here compresses as the pressure wave hits and squeezes the water out the delivery valve, out the delivery uh, pipe. That's it, really. That's uh, the, uh, right. Here's a check valve. Oh, you back up on me again. Here's a check valve. This is a swing check valve, this one. Um, you can probably see it swinging there. See that swing? Um, I'm using uh, the, vial, the valve style or for the, the main shut, the main check valve. I'm using a valve style one, which is like a like an engine valve. It's, it's got a, it's a ring with a tube sticking out and it just slides up to, to shut. Exactly the same as the valve on an engine. Uh, the reason I'm using one of those is because um, I can weight the top to hold the valve down um, because the valve itself is quite light even though it's made of brass it's it's quite light if I can weight it down a bit it can hold it open longer um, and then get more energy down the pipe before it shuts uh, and hopefully pump higher I've got um, like a 20 meter head to pump to and I've only got about a meter um, a fall on on from the pond level to the stream so it's going to be a, a, a push i've got to try and squeeze as much energy out of this little bit of water as i can to see if i can get it to work i can lower the lower the header tank down the hill a bit but i don't i'm loath to do that because it's already in all the whole systems in and everything so i don't i don't really want to do that uh, i want to see if i can just use this um to pump up the hill right um that's the pond there and i've just let the um cover off the pipe so we've got water down to the pump this is the uh, my test pump I'm just I'll just get down this side it might be easier to see it uh, I've got a plastic bottle on the top here just to uh, make a bit of a, a pressure vessel that's that there uh, and I'm just going to run it up and test it and see if we can see if everything's working right uh, the pumps about oh six and a half Oh, it's probably a good foot off the level of the streams, the level of the streams down there. So I could get more head, and I, I reckon I've only got about maybe two, two and a half foot of head, which is not ideal for a ram pump. But uh, this is a test, so we're going to just um, see how things go and see if we can move any water at all. Let's fire it up. It starts up okay anyway. What we need to do is see if it's pumping water. Uh, I've set up a temporary pipe 
going back to the pond uh, and I've hung it out of a tree just to see if we're getting any that, that's that's got a little bit of pressure in it see if we're getting any kind of pressure um, at all because um, obviously I don't want to waste shed loads of money making this because I haven't got any more head that's all I've got uh, and I'm going to try and try and uh, get it up to the top of this hill up here so it's a tall order for a ram pump to be honest but we'll see how we do let's see if it's if this is actually going to pump anything at all right I've come up um, above the pond now and you can if you listen you can hear the uh, pump tapping away and I have it my, my this is my test pipe test supply pipe uh, and you can see the ponds down there so about oh blimey two three meters above the pond so the water from the pond is going down about um, three foot at the most so we're going down three foot and then we'll pump the water another three meters from here and if you look in the tree let me get this there we go you can just see it running there now it's got uh, it's not it's not a huge amount of water it's basically a trickle but it's a regular water getting pumped which is kind of what I'm after really so we'll call the test phase successful and we'll move on to um, changing the pressure chamber to something a bit more professional um, and looking to maybe um, get a bit more head and see if, in a, see if I can pump um, up to the tank at the top of the hill. I've made a couple of changes to the uh, ram pump. Uh, I've put a, uh, I'll get down here. I put a pressure vessel on and I've also uh, put a weight, see that there, it's actually a brass candlestick um, that I soldered to the uh, top of the check valve to give it a bit of weight so that it holds the check valve open a wee bit longer to get a bit more um, speed in the water. Um, and I've also increased the length of the pipe. We've got about maybe six metres of drive pipe but we're, and I've got as much head as I possibly can. I've dropped it as low, a, as low down as I can into the stream. Um, that's where that bit of water's coming out there, that's the head I've got there, which is, it's hardly anything, it's less than a metre I would say, but it's better than it was, um, and I've got that chugging away there now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up the hill and see if it's pumping. Here's the tank at the top of the hill, just pull this out a second, there we go, you can hear it thumping. We've got a wee bit of water coming out, not a hell of a lot, but uh, this is half full in about a couple of hours, so that's quite pretty amazing actually. We are, um, I would say, at least 20 metres above the, the ramp pump. Now, um, People say that you can usually pump 10 metres up for every metre drop, 10 to 1. This is double that. And it's not pumping a lot of water, um, but it is still working, so I'm pretty pretty chuffed about that. Right, let's have a look at the uh, pipe. There we go. We've got, uh, that's the, plenty of head there. Plenty of pressure, I should say. So we've got good pressure on the system because we, we're pumping right to the very top, and uh, that's working great. So uh, that's ready for to be piped into the greenhouse. That is.